Alright friends, welcome back to questions and answers. This is uh, fourth week from 25th January to 31st January. Sixth National Voters Day was celebrated on January 25. This is for the sixth time we started celebrating. And what is the significance of this 25th of January? Because on this day in 1950, just one day before our enactment of our constitution, that is our constitution came into force on January 26, 1950 which we celebrate as uh, Republic Day and one day prior to it, this election commission was established on January 25, 1950. To commemorate it, we celebrate National Voters Day. Second important point is for this year, the theme is inclusive and qualitative participation. And in this connection, Chief Election Commissioner Nazim Zaidi also released the book Belief in the Ballot. So, Belief in the Ballot is the book released by Chief Election Commissioner Nazim Zaidi. And this is the sixth National Voters Day. Name the Governor of Arunachal Pradesh, Jyoti Prashad Rajkova. Why I asked this question is President's rule was imposed in Arunachal Pradesh based on Governor's recommendation. And please don't forget, President's rule can be imposed in any state under Article 356 of the Constitution. By 1st April 2016, the National Food Security Act 2013 will cover all the states, union territories except Tamil Nadu. All the states confirmed that they will implement this National Food Security Act 2013, which gives food grains at cheaper prices will be implemented in all the states except Tamil Nadu by 1st April 2016. Name the country where more than a million Hindus celebrated Thai Pusam festival. This Thai Pusam festival is basically celebrated by Tamilians settled in Malaysia. And this festival was celebrated in a big way in Kuala Lumpur. And here Hindus offer prayers to deity Murugan. And several people walk from Batu Caves to the hilltop shrine and 15 kilometers procession of silver chariot will also take place. And if someone asks a Thai Pusam festival, this is the famous festival, famous Hindu festival in Malaysia. Name the 24-7 classical music channel which was launched by All India Radio at Bengaluru. This is Ragam channel and this is 24-7 channel which broadcasts both Hindustani and Carnatic music. Name India's first mission to study the sun. All of you are well aware about India's missions to study moon as well as Mars. And now India's first mission to study the sun is expected to be launched during 2019-20 and the name of the mission is Aditya L1 and this will be launched by ISRO and what is the meaning of L1? L1 is Lagrangian point 1. What is Lagrangian point? Lagrangian point is the point which is around 1.5 million kilometers from earth and it has got major advantage that Continuous viewing of sun is possible without any eclipses and without any obstructions. That is Lagrangian point and ISRO will launch Aditya L1 to study the sun in 2019-20. Who was appointed as the chairperson of society and board of governors of IIM Sambalpur for a period of 5 years, Arundhati Bhattacharya of State Bank of India was appointed as the Chairperson of Society and Board of Governors of IIM Sambalpur. Name the country which became the 67th member of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. China became 67th member of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. This the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development is based in London. Very few of you may be aware about it. And this was founded in 1991, subsequent to Cold War era, that means prior to 1991, one block was headed by America, the other block was headed by Soviet Union and the Soviet Union broke up in 1991 and at the time, several East European countries which were under communist rule and to further their progress towards market-oriented economies and the promotion of private and entrepreneurial initiative, this bank was established. This is European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. This is based in London basically to lift the East European countries subsequent to 1991 and China recently joined it. 
for developing solar powered air conditioners blue star tied up with iit madras and in future this acs will be powered by solar energy french development agency will contribute 300 million euro over the next 5 years to support solar energy and all of you please don't forget india is establishing international solar alliance in gurgaon and as a initial corpus india contributed rupees 100 crore and at the same time please don't forget the aim of international solar alliance is to mobilize 1 trillion dollars of investment by 2030 and the purpose of international solar alliance is development of solar power and making it affordable for all the developing countries without any patent restrictions and please don't forget french development agency will contribute 300 million euro over the next 5 years to support solar energy French National Railway SNCF will do a pilot study to develop Ambala and Ludhiana stations Ambala is in Haryana Ludhiana is in Punjab and at these two stations French National Railway will undertake pilot study and at the same time please don't forget Indian Railways and French National Railway SNCF are working together to upgrade 245 km Delhi Chandigarh passenger line to upgrade the speed of Delhi Chandigarh passenger line and also to improve ludhiana and ambala stations french national railway will coordinate with indian railways isa was inaugurated at gurgaon please don't forget this is international solar alliance it is the grouping of countries situated between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn around 121 countries are expected to be members Name the new telecom secretary JS Deepak is the new telecom secretary and he replaced Rakesh Garg and new MSME secretary is KK Jalan India will install satellite tracking and imaging center in Vietnam this will give Vietnam access to earth observation satellites that cover the region including China and South China Sea this is pertinent because of the reason Vietnam has got territorial disputes with China in South China Sea president's rule was imposed in Arunachal Pradesh under article 356 of the constitution the matter is with the supreme court now name the state where girl child of below 1 year age was invited to attend republic day celebrations under mera pehla ganatantra utsav and last year on january 22 beti bachao beti padhao was inaugurated by the prime minister in haryana why haryana was chosen haryana was chosen because of the reason it has got the least sex ratio among the states and to improve the sex ratio So as to focus on girl child the Haryana was chosen and this year girl child below 1 year age was invited to attend republic day celebrations under mera pehla ganatantra utsav basically to focus girl child in Haryana him murcha revival of water mills is being taken in himachal pradesh him murcha is the public sector undertaking of himachal pradesh Who among the following is the task force set up by World Economic Forum which includes bankers and policy makers across the world to study the global financial system Raghuram Rajan is among the bankers and policy makers established by the World Economic Forum India and Armenia signed protocol amending double taxation avoidance convention which facilitates the exchange of information for tax purposes on OECD model what is OECD OECD is organization for economic cooperation and development this is 34 countries group based in paris and india and armenia signed protocol amending double taxation avoidance convention Name the state which launched a special weekly free clinics for women called Roshni. This weekly free clinics were launched by Madhya Pradesh. The program is called Roshni and please don't forget Madhya Pradesh is banning polythene from next year and 
Uttar Pradesh has already banned as per the rankings released by Berlin based Transparency International India ranks at 76th position out of 168 countries this Transparency International monitors the corruption and out of 168 countries India stood at 76th position there is improvement from 85 to 76 previous year india was at 85th position and now india is at 76th position denmark tops the list for second consecutive time and north korea and somalia are at the bottom position 68% of the countries worldwide have serious corruption problem including 50% of g20 countries National Day of the Girl Child was celebrated on January 24. The child sex ratio in 0 to 6 age group is 918. That is the worrying point in the country. And in some states like Haryana, the child sex ratio is much less. Because of that reason, Beti Bachao, Beti Padao was launched on January 22, 2015 in 100 districts of the country by the Prime Minister to save the girl child so as to increase the sex ratio. Next one is very important. India overtook Thailand as the world's largest rice exporter in 2015. And... India overtook Thailand India exported 10 million tons in 2015 and in the top 3 positions India Thailand and Vietnam another important point is the world's largest basmati rice exporter is also India basmati rice is grown specifically around the foothills of Himalayas in northwestern part of the country and this has got separate aroma and this is basically exported to several gulf countries and another important point i would like to tell you basmati rice has got geographical indication tag just like kanchipuram sarees just like darjeeling tea nagpur oranges like that this basmati rice has got geographical indication tag or gi tag popularly known as Corporate tax avoidance deal was signed by 31 OECD members. OECD is based in Paris. This is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Name the state which will impose ban on polythene from 1st January 2017. This is Madhya Pradesh. 14th Mumbai International Film Festival was kicked off in Mumbai. This happens once in 2 years. This is jointly organized by films division with the support from maharashtra government and here one interesting point is v shantaram lifetime achievement award was conferred on naresh bedi and naresh bedi is famous wild life filmmaker beating the retreat ceremony was held at vijay chowk and this culminates the celebrations of republic day this beating the retreat ceremony is being held every year on the fourth day of republic day that means republic day is on 26th this is normally held on 29th and this culminates the republic day celebrations and the president of the country will preside over these celebrations and this beating the retreat ceremony was held at vijay chowk the government signed 80 million dollar loan agreement with asian development bank to improve infrastructure in agartala and aiswal this is a part of financing facility under northeastern region capital cities development investment program total is 200 million dollars out of which 80 million dollar loan agreement was signed with adb to improve infrastructure in agartala and aiswal this asian development bank is based in manila philippines India's top pistol shooter Hina Sidhu secured a Olympic quota for the country by climbing gold in women's 10 meter air pistol event in Asian Olympic qualifiers event in New Delhi 61st national schools athletics championships were held in Kozhikode in Kerala and the tournament was kicked off in Rahman Stadium Kozhikode and please don't forget Kerala emerged as the overall winner for the 19th consecutive time under tranky 2 of the gold bond scheme government received subscription for 
2790 kilograms of gold worth the 726 crores of rupees under this gold bond scheme during first tranche that means for the first instance subscription for 916 kilograms of gold worth the 246 crores were received and under tranche 2 of the gold bond scheme government got subscription for 2790 kg of gold worth the 726 crores of rupees these figures please remember as they may be asked in some examinations arindam sen gupta who passed away was the managing editor of the times of india recently he passed away india china brazil and russia these four brics countries except south africa these four brics countries will be in the top 10 largest members of imf this shows the clout of developing countries and these four will be among the top 10 of international monetary fund and voting rights also got increased for india and china for china they increased substantially and for india they increased marginally Name the country which celebrates National Day on 26th January. On the same day, what we celebrate the Republic Day on 26th January, Australia celebrates their National Day because on this day in the year 1788, first fleet of British ships at Port Jackson were arrived, and British flag was raised in the year 1788 on January 26. so our republic day coincides with the national day of australia please don't forget un backed syrian peace stocks were held in geneva but they were abandoned abruptly syria is in crisis peace stocks were started in geneva switzerland but they were abandoned in midway name the state or union territory which launched mitra for safety of women this is innovative venture of puducherry government mitra means mobile integrated tracking and rescue application mitra means mobile integrated tracking and rescue app and this was launched by puducherry so as to ensure safety of women name the central bank which introduced negative interest rate policy this is bank of japan last year european central bank introduced negative interest rate policy and on the similar lines bank of japan also introduced negative interest rate policy because if banks park money with the central bank banks have to pay some interest that means this is the step so as to advise banks please lend more don't keep cash with you that is the message given by bank of japan basically to improve inflation in developed country like japan sania mirza martina hingis pair clinched the australian open women's doubles title they defeated andrea hlavakova and lucy hradeka of czechoslovakia and this is the third successive grand slam title for this pair after wimbledon and the us open consecutively wimbledon us open australian open this women's doubles pair are winning and this is their 36th unbeaten victory and eighth title in a row so sania and martina are creating records in recent times as the doubles women's pair Name the city which bagged first rank in Smart Cities Challenge competition. Bhubaneswar got the first rank, and look at the next one in IMF International Monetary Fund. China's voting rights will increase from 3.8 percent to 6 percent, and India's voting rights will increase from 2.3 percent to 2.6 percent. India's increase is marginal from 2.3 to 2.6, but China's voting rights will increase substantially from 3.8 percent to 6 percent. And at the same time, please don't forget, United States of America's voting rights are at around 16 and half percent. Martyrs' Day is observed on 30 January, Anti-Leprosy Day, Martyrs' Day. So this coincides with the assassination date of Mahatma Gandhi. former army chief general kv krishna rao passed away 
he was 14th chief of army staff of indian navy and he played a key role in bangladesh liberation war and he was governor of jammu and kashmir during the critical phase of militancy period and also governor of nagaland manipur and tripura the critical northeastern states ceo of afghanistan abdul abdullah visited india and participated in a conference on counter terrorism in jaipur conference on counter terrorism was held at jaipur and second point is Abdullah Abdullah was participated in the conference on counter terrorism and please don't forget Afghanistan is also worst affected by terrorism in the world South Asian speaker summit was held at Dhaka and Angelique Kerber of Germany won the women's singles title at Australian Open by defeating world's number 1 Serena Williams she is the 7th seed player and her victory is after the victory of Steffi Graf of Germany so she became the first german to win women's singles title after Steffi Graf who won several grand slam titles expenditure management commission gave recommendations to expand direct benefit transfer to scholarships pension subsidies so as to plug leakages once a direct benefit transfer is implemented directly the amounts will go to the bank accounts and that's why leakages will be plugged and duplication will be avoided and this expenditure management commission is headed by bimal jalan friends with this let us conclude fourth week have a nice day thank you